Hello everyone, my name is Ravi Angwar and today I will be teaching efficiencies of impulse turbine. I have already uploaded a video on various types of efficiencies of impulse turbine in my previous lectures. But due to the comment which I have seen in my comment box today has driven me to upload a video on derivation of overall efficiency of impulse turbine. So, in this lecture, I will be covering the various efficiencies of impulse turbine like what is the diagram efficiency, what is the stage efficiency, what is nozzle efficiency, what is overall efficiency and what are the nomenclatures used in impulse turbine. Let us start with the first topic that nomenclatures which have been used in impulse turbine. CV or U represents the linear velocity of blade that I have shown on the velocity diagram of impulse turbine. So you can see with the arrow from A to B represents your linear velocity of blade. C1 is absolute velocity of steam at inlet to moving blade or you can say it's a velocity of steam at exit of your nozzle that I have shown on the diagram from A to C and it has been marked with the arrow C1. Delta CW is change of tangential component of velocity that has been shown on the diagram from F to E delta CW it has been marked with the arrow. H0 is enthalpy at inlet of nozzle, H1 is enthalpy at outlet of nozzle. If this is your nozzle, this is your inlet part, this is your outlet part. So H0 will be your enthalpy at inlet of a nozzle and H1 will be enthalpy at outlet of your nozzle. Let us understand the first efficiency that is diagram efficiency. It is the ratio of rate of work done divided by energy supplied to the rotor. Rate of work done is your you are getting from driving thrust and driving thrust you are getting from your rate of change of momentum. Energy supplied to the rotor is nothing but a kinetic energy of steam which is coming from the nozzle and imparting on your moving blades. And this is the formula of your rate of work done that I have described or explained in the previous lectures. If you want to understand in a great detail then you can go through my previous lectures and you can understand. And this is the formula for your kinetic energy or the energy supplied to a rotor. After all, you will get the one formula that is 2 multiplied by u that is blade velocity multiplied by delta Cw divided by C1 square. Let us understand the second efficiency that is stage efficiency. Stage is your combination of your fixed blade and your moving blade. Fixed blade is your nozzle. So your stage efficiency is the ratio of rate of work done to the energy supplied to the stage. Rate of work done I have already explained in the previous slide that you are getting from the driving driving thrust and you are getting the driving thrust from the rate of change of momentum and energy supplied to the stage is nothing but your enthalpy change at the inlet of your nozzle and the outlet of your nozzle. This m dot m is nothing but your mass flow rate. So this will get cancelled and you will get one formula at the end that is blade velocity multiplied by whirl velocity that is your change of tangential component of velocity and H0 is your enthalpy at inlet of your nozzle and H1 is your enthalpy at outlet of your nozzle. Now third efficiency is nozzle efficiency. Nozzle efficiency is, is an energy that is kinetic energy available at the inlet of the nozzle to the enthalpy change at the inlet of the nozzle and the outlet of the nozzle. So at the last you will get the formula of nozzle efficiency that is the C1 square divided by 2 its enthalpy change at the inlet and the outlet of your nozzle. Let us understand the fourth efficiency that is your overall efficiency. Overall efficiency is work delivered at the shaft that is nothing but your brake power and energy supplied to the stage is nothing but your enthalpy change in the nozzle at the inlet and the outlet that is H0 minus H1. The formula of your overall efficiency will be your brake power divided by H0 minus H1 that is your enthalpy change in the nozzle at the inlet and the outlet and you can also get the overall efficiency formula by multiplying the various efficiencies like nozzle efficiency, diagram efficiency and mechanical efficiency. These two def uh, efficiency I have already explained in the previous slides but mechanical efficiency I haven't explained. So mechanical efficiency is the ratio of brake power divided by indicated power. In the next slide I have derived the expression for the 
ओवरऑल एफिशिएंसी सो डायग्राम एफिशिएंसी फार्मूला स्टेज एफिशिएंसी फार्मूला एंड नोजल एफिशिएंसी फार्मूला आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड एंड दिस इज अ फार्मूला फॉर योर ओवरऑल एफिशिएंसी दिस इज आल्सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन सो इफ यू वांट टू गेट द ओवरऑल एफिशिएंसी फ्रॉम वेरियस एफिशिएंसी इज गिवन देन यू कैन ड्राइव इन दिस वे सो दिस इज अ फार्मूला फॉर योर डायग्राम एफिशिएंसी दिस इज अ फार्मूला फॉर योर नोजल एफिशिएंसी आई नो मैकेनिकल एफिशिएंसी ब्रेक पावर अपॉन इंटीग्रेटेड पावर In case of impulse turbine, your integrated power is your rate of work done. That is, C V multiplied by delta C W. So if you substitute all these values in place of integrated power, if you substitute C V into delta C W, after cancellation you will get brake power divided by S zero minus H min, and this is your overall efficiency. So if you know diagram efficiency, nozzle efficiency, and mechanical efficiency, you will be able to drive your overall efficiency. Thank you so much.